Hi, welcome to the fascinating world of random. Today, we are going to be showing you the answers to all the trivia stuff in the Fright Seeker's Guide to Random Haunts and Other Horrific Things. But first, let's have a fortune cookie. Yeah, good idea. Fortune cookie. <laughs> Okay, so well, these are stale. Still eating a stale fortune cookie. These yeah. things are stale. Fortune cookies are stale. So the answers to all the things in the book. Now today is the day after Halloween, and we had promised you in the book that we were going to give you all the answers to all the stuff in here. So we're going to start right now with. This page. What is that? How many? How many of each? How many of each? Well, I'll give you my answers. So how many hockey masks, how many chainsaws, and how many machetes? Well, here are the answers. There are nine chainsaws. There are eight machetes. And the hockey masks were the trickiest. So it's not so hard to find all the the uh, chainsaws and the machetes. The hard part is figuring out how many hockey masks there are because they're layered and they're kind of difficult to count. There are actually 16 hockey masks. Whoa. That's 16 a lot of, them. of hockey masks. That is. Yeah. That is a lot of psycho killers out to get you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, so we move on. That's a lot of dangerous stuff going on. That is a lot of dangerous stuff. What page and is that we're, on? we're moving on to uh, page blah blah. The page just before the haunted graveyard at Lake Compounds. Okay. Have your brains okay. been eaten? All right. So which, take this uh, horrifyingly difficult quiz and see what you. So I'm going to read the questions. You read the answers. Like you a real read, school. Like a real school. school. Of you you haunts. read the questions. All right. School of Random Haunts. Question one: Which haunt uses a totally amazing custom soundtrack? A totally amazing custom soundtrack. That would be Realm of Terror. Realm of Terror. Oh, yeah, Realm of Terror. Yes, they, must they, be, they must be awesome. I'm going to check that out. They have a totally amazing custom Okay, soundtrack. number two. What haunt is believed to be tormented by the ghost of Mr. Stephen S. Pike? Stephen S. Pike. That would be Derailed Haunted House oh, yeah. in Raymer, Tennessee. They're pretty cool. They got some cool graphics. They those do. Guys. They they do. Yeah. And you know, interestingly, the guy that owns that, or one of the co-owners is also a school administrator. Oh, good, good. Yeah, yeah, that's creepy. All right, what number, number three, what day is Halloween Comic Fest 2016? Halloween Comic Fest 2016, right there. It's in there, man. And it has officially already passed since October is now over. It was October 29th. October 29th. So hopefully you went to your local comic book store and got some really cool comics and other stuff. Comic Fest, huh? Number four. What is it? Number four. At what haunt can you experience five unique scents? That would be Outbreak. Dread the Undead. Dread the Undead. And I dread the scents, I would actually. What does that mean? The scents? Sense? They actually you have like uh, smells? five smells, yeah, that you experience as you're going through. And I forget... Off the top I'm of my head, sure. what they are. I don't know what they are. But, like, um, like a gasoline I, from a chainsaw or something? I think... Um, chainsaw exhaust in your face? Zombie might be one of them. I don't know. What do they do? Who a, knows? Or like essential oils on you? Like zombie oils? Uh, I think they're probably blown into the air like anywhere else, you know? If you're walking down Main Street at Disney World, you're going to notice the smell of the bakery. Well, that's artificial. It's just blown really? into the air. Yeah, they do it. To get you to are you come kidding? And buy stuff. I'm not kidding. Those about people that. are geniuses. So that's probably what they do at Outbreak Dread the Undead. And by the way, that is located in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, or I believe there's one in Myrtle Beach, uh, Carol, right. number, South or North. Where's I don't know. Uh, number five though it says in. what haunt is on a bluff overlooking the Illinois River Valley? Sounds cool. That would be the haunted infirmary in Illinois somewhere. That's cool. I want to look at that one. Uh, number six. What stands at nine feet tall and weighs at about a thousand pounds? 
That would be Scary Harry. <laughs> scary Harry. Scary Harry. Who is he? Nine feet tall. Can we see him? Where's he? Is he know where he's at? He's at Scary Harry's. All right, Scary Harry's. Nine foot yeah. tall. I thought you were talking about you know one of my family members. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> it's like we're talking about your brother. <laughs> no, <don't. laughs> the one David, that made you a nine feet of tall and weighs in about a thousand pounds. Yeah, he might be almost nine feet tall. At what haunt have that you have a boot? At, at what number seven? At what haunt? Have at least oh have at least two hundred and forty nine uh-huh. adults wet their pants. Well, <laughs> that's hilarious. That would be that would be dead north in they got a count in Vermont. But are yeah, they, they, serious. They've got a count going. Yeah, on how what many? What do they pee many, their pants for? Just they're scared. Oh, just to do it. I mean, who doesn't? You know, my son pees his pants. But. Well, yeah, but he's not an adult. <laughs> Whoa! Help the clown find its home. So this is, uh, you know, pretty creepy clown thing, and you're going to be able to do that. We'll actually have the graphic up. You can see it right now on your screen, which will show you the lines going to all of the haunts it's where the, the clowns screen. came from. Ready? It's on and your screen. You see it right up there? there? Did you there mess it, it up? If you can't get this one, then I'm sorry. Go back to what? Kindergarten? This is a kin- kindergarten. Yeah. It's actually pretty tricky to do. Yeah. But now we're going to move him, on to the next, you know, the, the part much. two of Have Your Brains Been Eaten? Of part two, who owned the junkyard at Nightmare at 3008? 3008. Who owned the junkyard? That would be Ed. Ed owned the junkyard. What, is that like a guy, Ed? A real guy? It's like a guy in the story, in the oh. backstory. Okay. All right. Ed. Creepy Ed. Who's number two? Who's Who's creeping it? Real on local television. Who's creeping it real? That's Marlena Midnight. Marlena. Horror host. Oh, I think I know her. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, number three. Which haunt has staff and past volunteers that have even refused to work in the building because personal experiences with the unexplained? That would be literally a haunted house. A haunted That's house. their name. Oh, literally, literally a haunted house. <laughs> and they really must be haunted. Evidently. Evidently. Because I, the name says it all. Literally. Yeah. A haunted house. I, I almost refused to work with him. For, 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 not for I that reason. I explained personal experiences. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> what haunt claims to have a white lady who leaves piles of yellow sulfurous dust in the corners? Is that like a ghost or something? Something like that, yeah. They claim? They claim. What, what, what haunt claims that? The haunt that claims that would be mm. Wisconsin Scary Land, where you can get cheese. Mm-hmm. Maybe Wisconsin Scary Land. Now Yellow is that in Texas? Dust or, in, I don't know. Or do you think it's actually in Wisconsin? I think it's in Wisconsin, but is it in Texas? No, it's in Wisconsin. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, of course, the sulfurous yellow dust is actually just cheese. <laughs> oh, okay. They, so. Call them and tell them that. That's probably what it is. You're we'll right. Call them up. Uh, number five. What haunt is located in the Inland Empire? The Inland Empire. You know, I actually had to look up what the Inland Empire was because in the book, it actually just says that they're located in the IE. So I had to look up what is the IE. Well, that's the Inland Empire. That was a tricky one. That's Rizzo's Scare House in California. The Inland Empire. That's scary. What haunt is a winding path that takes you from dark... Darkly glittering catacombs to an eerie graveyard. Ooh, sounds. I want to go there. It sounds uh, pretty eerie, and can it I is, go there? How far is it? Uh, it's a little ways away. It's in Connecticut, I believe. Nope, not going there. Not going there. <laughs> it's the haunted graveyard at Lake Compounds, Ooh. which I think is kind of a an amusement park. All right, how many times does the Undertaker from Kings Island Halloween haunt appear in this book? How many times? He appears 13 times. And ironically, he starts on page 13. Page 13. If you if you count from that being one all yes. the way up, his very first one is on page 13. That is so creepy. Who thought of that? I don't know. It was not planned. It just happened oh yeah that just happened he was in his computer making the book and all. Of a and sudden. his picture in the introduction does not count so it doesn't count 13 times how many so times horrific but true shows up 13 times in the book and ironically just 
coincidentally starts on page 13 All right. of the book. So all those right. are the answers, and now you know. You know all the answers to all the questions in the book. We did not show you the word search. You are on your own for that one. You can do it. You can do it yourself. Listen, if you want to go to our random store, you can buy this item. This is a actual original licensed Zumba shaker. Oh, oh. Who does not want one of those? Zumba. Zumba. So it's mostly for you ladies, but I know there's some at least one creepy guy out there who's doing Zumba. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check this out All in the right. Fascinating World of Random Store, and if you buy it, we'll send you a picture of and Todd doing Zumba signed. That's part of the special sure. version of this. Thing. And Let's also, be happens. sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please, we beg you, please subscribe. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.